Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is your Lessons from a Past Life reading. Don't forget guys, if you are enjoying my readings, hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any more. So for this reading guys, I am using Past Life Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue and Brian L. Weiss, and also Beginner's Guide to Tarot by Juliette Sharman Burke. Okay guys, so how I'm going to do this reading is I've got three past life cards here and as we all know guys, you know, there are things that happen in our past lives that do have a knock-on effect, good or bad, in our current lives and current situations, um, whether it be down to feelings of uh, blockages um, pertaining to different aspects of our life or where we're having ridiculously brilliant looking in this current life and you're wondering why that is this is all pertaining to lessons and things that we've learned in our past lives or situations we've gone through so our past lives are very very relevant to our current situations and our current lives and this reading um i will give you a glimpse into one of your past lives or the one that's so relevant to you right now and following that i will pull three tarot cards for you to um kind of highlight the lesson that we're trying to get from that past life, okay? So in front of us, I have three sets of cards, set one, set two, set three. And what I want you to do now is close your eyes, focus on a situation or a question that you may need guidance on. Um, if it's general guidance, focus on that. Let your question fill you up. And I'll give you a few moments to do that. And after that, you're going to open your eyes, you'll be drawn to one card or all three may resonate with you. Okay, so I'll give you a few moments starting now. Okay guys, so we're gonna come to set one here first. So everyone who was drawn to set one, this is for you. So for the past life card we have spouse. Now this card is all about soulmates essentially okay um, in past lives we may have had relationships with the person that we are currently involved with romantically or if you're single this will kind of indicate that your future spouse will be a soulmate from a past life you've had a relationship with them um, from a past life and that was going to make your bond quite strong in this life for the tarot card we have the four of pentacles which is talking about holding on to something that is not serving your highest good. Now, as I was talking about blocks, this can indicate that you are holding tightly onto something that is not good for you, that may be, in fact, slightly toxic. And until you release that, it won't give you the opportunity to experience the gift that your past life is trying to pass on to you with regard to meeting your soulmate or to continuing life on with your soulmate, okay? Um, so this is encouraging you to release whatever that, that is that you feel that you need to release in order to open up your life to this new opportunity to meet this soulmate of yours, okay? So that is set one. Set two, for anyone drawn to set two, this is for you. So your past life card says vows. Now, this card is about a past life that you may have been uh, in a religious order, that you may have taken some vows that are actually blocking you from accessing or uh, allowing certain things to come through in this life. For instance, um, if you took a vow of poverty, okay, that may have still lingered on into this life, if it was a strong vow, this is why I say religious order, that it can block your sense of abundance here in this life, okay? Um, if you took a vow of chastity, it may now have a, an effect on your sexual relationships, um, things like that. Now, these vows from the past are very, very easy to sever, okay? Because if vows aren't severed through our lifetimes, they do linger on and that's why they cause an effect in this life, okay? So to sever that uh, set of vows and to clear your blockages a bit, um, what you can say is, and you can say this silently or out loud, whatever you feel comfortable with, you simply say, I am willing to sever all vows that are blocking me in this lifetime. I ask that all aspects of painful vows be now and forever undone in all directions of time for everyone concerned. Okay, 
and that will sever those vows from your past life and hopefully lead to that unblocking of these things. Let the abundance flow through you. Let successful relationships come to you. Now, your tarot card that is coming with that is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is talking about you basically focusing on the things that you're lacking, that the things that you don't have, aka the blockages that are being caused from these past life vows, okay? You're focusing so much on them that you're missing out on the opportunities that are al al almost magically appearing for you, okay? You're, the God-given opportunities that are being presented to you, you're missing out on because you're focusing so much on what you don't have, okay? So this is encouraging you to release those past ve vows by saying the affirmation that I've just said to you, and allowing then all these beautiful things to come to you, um, the abundance, the, the successful relationships, all those things that I've mentioned, allow them to come flooding into your life at this time and stop focusing on what you don't have, okay? So that is set two for everyone who was drawn to set two. Now, set three. Everyone drawn to set three, this is for you. Okay, so your past life card says lessons and blessings. Now this is a, a lovely card because it's basically saying that in your, your previous life, um, you have actually learned your lessons. And because you've learned those lessons, you are having an abundance of positivity flowing into your life right now. Um, and it's all about uh, the soul has learned the lessons, therefore you're getting better luck and better opportunities and these things all these lovely things are flowing to you right now which is great um with that your tarot card the five of swords it's basically saying to you um you need to just kind of be humble in your approach to things know your limits um you may feel so empowered and so great and everything's wonderful 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 which is fantastic however please know your limits and if you're taking on too much of a certain thing be aware that that is that is your limit and don't be afraid to say okay guys i'm kind of done here let's stop um i need to i need to take some more and more don't be afraid to say no to people and and really take care of yourself at this time because um if you burn yourself out it's almost like you're going 12 steps backwards okay it's not going to work for you so enjoy the abundance enjoy the prosperity enjoy all these beautiful things coming into your life however know your limits and know when to stop and take care of yourself okay and that is set three. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If these cards resonated with you, do leave your thoughts in the comments below for me. If you want to see my latest video, click up here. YouTube will pop around in one of my videos here. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Love and like, guys.